Hello friends, welcome again. This is my new project, Farmer's Market Place. I am using latest PHP version 8 and the MySQL version is 8. And this is a bootstrap theme. We have used the Visual Studio Code ID. So these technology stacks we have used for development this project. And this is a responsive theme. This is a mobile version of website. This is all of the mobile version. You can see now. Now let's start the functionality of the project. Our project title is Farmers Marketplace and we have developed this project with two different types of interface. That is the front end face and the second one is admin interface. Both are totally different interface but both are responsive and we are using Bootstrap latest version. This is a major project and from this project you can learn a lot of things means how can you create the database? How can you manage now the data from the PHP with CRUD application, create, update, and delete? Many of the things you can learn. Now, let's start the features that we have developed in this project. Now, this is a home page. Home page, you can check the category, all the category listing here, which are coming from the database. If you click on flower seeds you can see the flower seed related products from here which are coming from the database this is totally dynamic now this is a header search bar you can search anything from here now we search peas you can check peas here peas products are visible here so this is a home page if you click on that now then the sliders here you can see we added the three images for sliding and if you click on the shop now you again see the products We now products will be able to see all of the page which we have added into the database. All the products are coming from the database. Now this is a full view of our home page. Now you can check the here, you can see it's sliding. We have added the sliders here. We try to make this project more functional, more operational. We have used a lot of plugins to develop this project. This is a completely home page. Now this is a about us page. This is a totally static page. And this is a products page. And this is a dynamic page. And all of the products are coming from the database. If you click on view button, you can see here all the details about the product. So we have added. Now this is a category page. This is a totally dynamic page. We have added eight categories, but this is a dynamic page. You can add number of categories from the database or from the admin panel. We have a separate admin panel for that. If you click on category like the like the vegetable seeds. In here, vegetable seeds contain two products. If you but you can add the number of products in the category listing from the database. Now, this is a registration page. Here, users can register. This is a login page. This is a login page. Here, a user can log in. Now, this is a contact us page. There is nothing dynamic, but the map is real. We integrated real map, a small real map. 
now we we want to add to buy now items like that wheat we want to buy we can add number of items add to cart now so there is a restrictions without login you can't buy the products so you must have the user account on this portal for buying any products without account you can't buy any products so the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and the password now this is the user dashboard now we now you want to buy the wheat we after that add the numbers of products shopping cart add to shopping cart this is two items added into the cart that you can see the total amount total amount gets calculating automatically but the total amount that much amount you need to pay after you can click on the proceed to checkout after that you will able to see payment page this is a dummy page not real payment page you can enter any thing in num card number like this a name of card like a master card this is not a real it's only dummy page or now you can click on the make payment option your payment has been done after the order summary is visible here you can see your order details from the my order section you can see this is a trade dashboard you can see you have to place 22 total orders confirmed orders your transit order delivered orders if you want to see the details of any order just click on this i icon and again coming the order summary of the of this order history details this is the dashboard page you can see all of the order details they uh, and the them this is a important links here either you can go from on the page from this or either clicking on this page this is a my account page you can update here your account details now this is a change password page here user can easily change the password so this is all about the front end things that and one last thing i want to tell you this is a session driven you can see this administration option is showing logout option is and the dashboard option is showing if i log out if i log out then you can see menu has been changed because of the session driven customer has logged in so the system is checking who is logging on accordingly so that the upper menu display so this is all about the so this is all about the front end features what we have developed inside the project now comes on the admin panel for admin now first we need to open admin 
slash admin. Now, admin panel is visible here. So without login, you can't access the internal page. So the admin user is admin at the rate gmail.com admin at the rate gmail.com and the password is test now sign in this is a very attractive and great dashboard we have created for the admin panel here you can see total numbers of 22 orders total delivered confirm orders order in transit total products total customers you can see everything here so this is the dashboard even this is a drag and drop thing because you can minimize you can minimize it like a available categories you can minimize and maximize the pace of the menu this is the quick menu option from you you can go on the page you can see this menu if you click here menu will be hide if you don't want to hide then you will click on the menu bar so now comes on the product management here this is a add product page From here, you can add new products, update, delete the products. You can see is all of the products, what you have added and there is a pagination here. You can say there is a basic pagination here. If you click on the edit, this product will open in the edit format. Then you can edit and this is the product. So now click on the product report. You can easily edit and delete from the product report page. All the products reports are visible here. In this space, you, you see the export whole data in csv as well as excel as well as pdf as an print you can do disable or enable the columns from it like this type Just click on the types. You can see times times of not coming here. Now this is a power of this table. Same for the category. You can easily add new category list and you can see the all the category report from the category report option you can easily edit and delete category category from this page you can export the category report from csv as well as excel as well as pdf format all features and all features are available of the settings So now we click on the order management. This is order is confirmed. This is the order management. You will able to see all of the orders. You can see there is a pagination. It's working perfectly. Click on the view. Click on the view. You will be able to see all the order and the customer detail. So order is currently confirmed.
if you want to cancel your order now you can click here cancel and then update you can check the order is cancelled here now this is a customer management page and this is a here you can add number of customers and the customer details here and this is the customer report you can edit and delete customer from the user report page now this is a change password here admin can easily change the password and this is the logout page so now this is our so this is all the features we have developed inside the project if you have want any type of enhancement any feature just put it on into the comment box we will develop the new project according to your requirements don't forget subscribe our channel thank you thank you for the watching video and thank you very much